Hello friends, uh, and good to be with you again uh, in this week. Uh, I, I want to bring together three things uh, in, in what I want to share today. Uh, you, you'll notice I'm standing very close to our own saint, Mary MacKillop here, and there's a reason for that. Uh, I also want to just uh, talk to you a little bit about uh, where things are at with uh, uh, opening up of our churches. And I want to also talk about what uh, Pope Francis has set as his intention for the month of October. And I'm going to start there because then I'm going to link all, all the others together. So Pope Francis has made as his particular intention and invites everyone to make as our intention that, uh, that we pray for the intention of the laity in the church, and especially women, that their involvement, uh, our, well, your involvement, uh, might be uh, uh, recognised, honoured and allowed to flourish. So each one of us began our journey in faith through our baptism. It's our primary sacrament, the key sacrament for all of us, whether ordained or lay, whether religious or cleric like myself. So each one of us in our baptism are called to be people who bring the gospel alive uh, in our circumstances. And we call that the mission of the church. So each of you uh, have a place, a particular place within the mission of the church and I want to uh, just acknowledge that and thank you for that uh, today and uh, to let you know of the efforts that we're perhaps making here in our own archdiocese to make sure that uh, uh, you have a proper say within the life of the church. So in, in my own office for instance uh, most of my key leaders are, are lay women uh, uh, who have the senior positions within the Archdiocese and in most parishes you will find uh, key leaders amongst uh, uh, our lay people yourselves. For instance as catechists or pastoral associates most of whom are women. These are key leaderships within our church but we are needing to find ways in which that can be lived out more effectively and I think the Plenary Council uh, will be a key uh, moment in, in making sure that that becomes a part of the life of the church here in Australia. As you know, uh, we are coming towards the uh, Sunday where there will be announcements made about uh, the next level of easing up of restrictions as we come out of COVID. Please God, they are uh, effective uh, things. But here's where I want to invite you to uh, be active over this coming week to be active in speaking up to ask that our places of worship here, for instance, in St. Patrick's where I am at the moment, uh, might be able to be opened up in an equivalent way to uh, other sectors in our society. At the moment, we have some disparity going on. So you can gather outdoors in a pub in, in regional Victoria up to 50 people but you can only gather for 10 outdoors for a, 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 a faith gathering. I want, we need parity in this sort of thing. So I'd encourage you to speak up this week, uh, maybe with the parliamentarians, maybe in, um, on talk, Talkback Radio or some way in which you can um, encourage parity. Not asking for anything special, just uh, consistency in, uh, and parity across the various sectors. That's being active in your faith. Um, that's being taking up your voice in, uh, in our society. So I encourage you to do so. And lastly, our beautiful St. Mary of the Cross. As it turns out, this coming Saturday is the 10th anniversary of her canonization. So it's 10 years already since uh, Mary MacKillop became St. Mary MacKillop. And uh, so I just want to acknowledge that. She was one who was able to speak so strongly into uh, our own Australian uh, society and culture with the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ, with the love of Jesus in her heart and the mercy that, that comes to all. And she spoke so strongly in that regard. So I just want to acknowledge uh, Mary today uh, and give thanks to the Lord for uh, giving her to us 
as a model and an example of, uh, of great witness to the faith. And so thank you, Mary. Thank you, Jesus Christ, who, was, who gave Mary the grace to become this great saint of ours. And to all of you, saints among God's saints, may this week be full of uh, blessings for you and a time of being able to come a little closer to the Lord in your own lives.